when you look at Saudi Arabia today, obviously we're talking about the global factor here. A landmark agreement brokered by Beijing between Riyadh and Tehran. Does that make Saudi Arabia, in your mind, a safer bet for putting your money and in investment? I think that the simple fact that there is an agreement makes the world safer. So, sure, there's a lot of concern that it happened uh, you know, with or without U.S. knowledge and that it was China that brokered it. But the fact that there's an agreement, uh, we're better off today than we were a week ago in terms of that. And what I would add to the conversation that was just going on in terms of the environment we're in, we've talked a lot about the prospects for growth in, in regions like the Middle East and India and places like that. It's also occurring in, I think, what will be a better financial environment. The last 10 years, with money, at the, the cost of money was zero. That doesn't lead to good capital allocation decisions. And I think what we're seeing here, and I wouldn't want to overstate what we're seeing in SVP, we're seeing actually a correction from that zero cost of capital to something that's more reasonable. Yes. I think you'll see better allocation of capital going forward. I think we do have to look at uh, do we have the proper, proper regulatory framework for banks and other financial institutions? Axel's right. I mean, what's happened in the U.S. is there's a stratification. The, the eight largest banks, of which State Street is one, are regulated at a very different level. The question for policymakers are, does that make sense? We love our banks in the U.S. We've got 5,000 of them. And part of the challenge has been, how do you keep all 5,000 competitive, yet regulate them to the same level? And it may be the policymakers made the wrong decision there. In in your mind, is this going to be a major factor as we move toward an election cycle, or should it be in the United States? Uh, it'll probably be, <laughs> it'll be a major source of talk, uh, <laughs> whether or not there'll be uh, you know, real sound policy changes, we'll see. It'll be a lot of political chatter. Yeah.